Israelis and Palestinians both claim it as their capital. Recognize one, and you undermine the other. Hence, the U.S. Embassy being in Tel Aviv. And that's something no U.S. president has sought to change until now. Donald Trump is expected to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital and begin the process of moving the U.S. Embassy there. The official announcement comes tomorrow. But he started making calls today to the Palestinian leader, Mahmoud Abbas, in the West Bank, to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and to leaders in Jordan, Egypt, and Saudi Arabia. Abbas, in turn, called Russia. He called France. He even called the Vatican for help. This is what emergency diplomacy looks like. Derek Stoffel picks up the story from Tel Aviv. Calls between President Trump and several leaders here in the Middle East have unleashed a wave of alarm and even anger. This is why. There are concerns that if President Trump goes ahead and recognizes Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and starts the process of moving the U.S. Embassy from here in Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, the Arab world will see the United States as choosing sides, siding with Israel in the long-running dispute between the Israelis and Palestinians. Now, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, through his spokesman tonight, says that the moves could kill the peace process. King Abdullah of Jordan said the potential U.S. action could have dangerous repercussions for security throughout the region. And Egypt's president, Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, also weighed in, telling Trump there's no need to complicate matters here in the Middle East. Palestinian factions are now calling for three days of rage right across the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. As a result, Israeli security forces are now preparing for demonstrations that could very well turn violent. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, Tel Aviv. Those reactions from leaders today underscore wider worries beyond Israel and the West Bank. Concerns that the decision might throw the region into turmoil. So the question is, what might it mean for the neighbors? I don't think this is a declaration will help do the, the peace process. Peace to well-known Palestinian cartoonist Mohamed Sabani takes the form of a dove, an ignored, often doomed peace with the U.S. and Donald Trump as the villain. And he sees this latest move as another blow to peace. This is another back step uh, toward the, the peace process. All of Palestinian and Arab world consider uh, Jerusalem as a holy land for all the religions, not just for Jewish. Indeed, Jerusalem's old city is an example of that coexistence, a place of pilgrimage for Jews, Christians, and Muslims alike. Neighboring Jordan has helped maintain and protect these holy sites. By recognizing uh, Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, this, of course, uh, threatens that special custodianship role. Experts say the working relationship between Jordan and Israel is at risk. Jordan has a lot of Palestinians who are uh, connected to, to, to Palestine in, in many ways, emotionally, culturally, and it would be uh, a difficult thing to accept uh, to, to continue to have a normal relation or a semi-normal relation with Israel. Sayın Trump, Müslümanların kırmızı çizgisidir. Then there's Turkey. Today, President Tayyip Erdogan threatened to cut off all diplomatic ties to Israel, which had resumed just last year, bringing Turkish aid into Gaza and billions in trade between the two countries. So this declaration could destabilize long-standing diplomatic and security relationships. <laughs> 